this list doesn't ought to be done in 2021. This isn't like a 2021 like New Year's resolution list. It's just a list of things that I would like to do in general. And I thought, I want to just, you know, now it's better time than ever. So I'm going to make this video as almost like a way to hold myself accountable. And I hope that, I mean, I watched some of the videos just when I'm editing them. So things or 
much under the belief system that homophobia is awful and wrong and prejudice and I don't want to be contributing to it anymore and I think the way that I contribute to it currently isn't out of malice or because I am necessarily um, super explicitly fatphobic but I definitely have internal fatphobia and we all probably do and so I will sometimes talk badly about my own body using fatphobic language and that has an impact on not only myself but other people around me and especially fat people in this world fat public language that I use can impact them and I don't want to do that so I want to stop using fat public language or at least try my best to stop and root it out the next thing on here is I want to stop avoiding going to the doctor and this also kind of ties into the therapy thing. Doctors really scare me. I have a phobia of needles and doctors and doctors' offices and blood. And so for me, I, I often skip going to the doctor because of those fears. But long term, it's not healthy to avoid going to the doctor. And so I want to focus on improving my, my mental health. so that eventually I'm more comfortable going to the doctor and I can, you know, live a more healthy lifestyle that way. Next on my list is using the word crazy. I think the word crazy can be really problematic and can be used in a way that's really, again, puts down people who struggle with either mental illness um, or mental health. And so I just think the word should be eradicated from my vocabulary and I plan on doing so. Next on my list, next on my list, next on my list is being silent in regards to anti-Semitism. And you may not know what anti-Semitism means. I don't know if all of my viewers, all my subscribers, all my little lefties know what anti-Semitism is, but it's basically just like prejudice against Jewish people. Um, I am Jewish, and so a lot of my life I've always just like not commented on anti-Semitism because I thought it was an uncomfortable conversation to have or because I didn't realize the different ways that anti-Semitism, um, the different ways it looks like, and, but now I think I'm a lot more educated on it, so I plan on being more vocal about anti-Semitism. I also think as a Jewish person, I am more privileged than, than most other Jews in terms of just like passingly not Jewish, um, and so even if anti-Semitism isn't always going to directly impact me, me being silent on anti-Semitism could directly impact another Jew, so it's something I want to stop doing. Another um, thing I want to stop doing is eventually, not anytime in the near future, but eventually stop working a corporate job. I currently work a corporate job that me very financially stable, but I think long term, it's not what's going to make me happy to work in the private sector. So I would, you know, kind of milk it for all I can now and work my butt off to pay off my student loans. But I think long term, um, I would like to not have a corporate job. I don't know if that's going to be a reality, but I would like that to be the case. Next on my list is taking my sister for granted. Again, like, I definitely tell my sister I love her all the time and that I appreciate her and, um, I pay her a lot of attention, but I think there are some times where, like, I can take her for granted and, like, not respond to her texts quickly enough or something like that. My sister loves to send me, like, eight Instagram messages in a row, and then, like, you know, it could take me, like, a couple days to respond. 